A former top Detroit police officer comes clean, telling only the local Ford defenders why he regrets testifying against white boy Rick Worshi. Too long. He's been in prison too long for a crime that if it wasn't Rick Worshi, he would have been out. And now that former cop has joined the fight to help the former drug dealer get his freedom. After serving 29 years here in Michigan, Rick Worshi is now serving time in a minimum security prison in Florida. Tonight, Local 4 Defender Kevin Dietz reveals new information in the White Boy Rick saga. A former top cop says he was ordered to testify against White Boy Rick Worshi. Now he wishes he never did and has joined the fight to get Rick Worshi out of prison. Bill Rice was Detroit's top homicide cop in 2003 when the head of major crimes ordered him to go to court and testify and make sure white boy Rick Worshi was denied parole and would stay in prison. My first response was, I don't know him. And so I had to do the research in order to gather exactly who he was. The only problem, he did not know Worshi, never met him, never saw his name from a single police report. He had no reason to testify against Worshi and he did not want to, but he was given orders. But I didn't actually have any direct contact with him in a felony homicide or any other type of, of assaultive behavior. His name just never came up. His name never came up. It's not the only thing he was given. He was also given secret sealed grand jury testimony to study before he took the stand. It's a felony to give someone sealed grand jury testimony, but there on a prosecutor's desk, it sat for Bill Rice to read. I went to the prosecutor's office. I talked to a prosecutor. Um, I read the grand jury transcript that was there. Worshi, who was put in prison after being arrested with eight kilos of cocaine at the age of 17, had already served 15 years behind bars. His parole was denied after Rice and others testified against him after reading the sealed grand jury testimony. Worshi would do another 14 years on the charges in Michigan. I'm telling you, I mean, I am in disbelief. You heard me when you told me that he's still in prison. <laughs> it just don't make sense. Today, where she is still in prison in Florida for his role from behind bars in a stolen car ring, he is trying to get released based on the fact that he provided very credible information to the FBI that led to multiple dirty cops and drug dealers being arrested. As I was interviewing Bill Rice, Rick Worshi called me on the phone. I'm sitting here with Bill Rice. Oh, okay, okay, let me speak to him. You are, you are. You are, you're on speakerphone. How are you? What's going on, buddy? Listen, I'm waiting on you to come out. Worshi and Rice ended up seeing each other in prison. Rice pleaded guilty to a conspiracy crime that he says he never committed. In a twist of irony, he was sent to the same prison Worshi was in. When I first met him and he walked up to me and he told me who he was, I told him, I didn't, I'm surprised you're still here. Rice admitted to Worshi he read the grand jury testimony and agreed to help by signing a sworn affidavit to his role in the 2003 parole hearing. Worshi has forgiven him for the testimony that helped keep him locked up. I don't hold anything against him for doing it. If, if someone that's over you asks you to do something or his boss at EPD tells you to go do something, what do you do? You go do it. It's not known if the federal judge whose grand jury testimony was leaked will open an investigation. Rice has said he's willing to talk to Florida officials if it will help Worshi get out of prison. If I see the whole time, I have 27 months from today. Well, let's hope it's 27 days, Rick. Worshi has now spent over 30 years behind bars for his two nonviolent crimes of selling drugs and helping steal cars. Every day down here is a hard day for me. I'm away from my family, I'm away from my friends. Rice, who has put away dozens of killers who have served far less time, says it's cruel. He shouldn't be there. And I can, I can sense the hurt and the pain in his, in his conversation. The two men forming an unusual bond. Bill, you take care of yourself. It was good talking to you. Absolutely. You too. Okay, thank you for everything. You got it. Bill Rice says he stands by his affidavit that he was given grand jury testimony and says if a criminal investigation is opened up against those who released it, he would cooperate and testify in court as to what happened. Worshi, who is hoping to get out of prison earlier than his 2020 release date, has said he would cooperate as well. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.